It's a city designed completely for cars, but not necessarily for drivers. 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi takes us to the $10 million project known as M-City, where driverless technology is moving through town. The latest in driverless technology is spotlighted here in M-City near Ann Arbor, or as you can see, the motors are driverless. It happens quick, so I'm going to set it up for you. Okay, so not completely driverless yet, but we may get there a little sooner, thanks to the opening of this 32-acre outdoor lab at the U of M. M-City is the world's first full-scale simulated urban environment designed to test connected, automated, and autonomous vehicles. In this controlled environment, you can do tests repeatedly over and over and over again. You can control the situation. So if you're trying to make sure your system detects a pedestrian, you can get the pedestrian to cross at the crosswalk repeatedly. Thank you. It's hard to do that when you're on the real road. Ask somebody to go back across the street and then come across again. We have been testing our connected and automated technologies on highway for several years now. And to have a simulated urban environment or city environment right here close to our development activities is absolutely fantastic. What a laboratory means is it's a place where you do discovery. And the beautiful thing about Discovery is you don't know where it's going to lead. So again, we'll be given an alert of the approaching bike before we ever see the bike. Sure enough. The whole facility is built to Michigan Department of Transportation standards. Uh, all the traffic signals work. The signs are real signs, uh, crosswalks, bike lanes. The game here in southeast Michigan is the automotive industry. So Silicon Valley is certainly... Uh, the birthplace of computer industry and programming in the United States, but transportation is Southeast Michigan. Always trying to create the safest driving environment possible. The future completely away from the wheel may still be years ahead. Here in M City, that future looks to be moving at light speed. In Ann Arbor, Andy Choi, 7 Action News.